Hey YouTube, it's Orion here, and today we're going to be showcasing the new Omega Shenron. So he's a melee unit, but his stats are really close for his strike and blast. They're pretty even. He holds two destroy cards, a strike and blast destroy card. And just like Zamasu, he has one of the most diverse character tags in the game. Shadow Dragon's Regeneration Fusion Warrior, shockingly. GT, Absorption and Powerful Opponent. So his strikes are all normal, his blasts are normal. His negative karma ball, which is his blue card, deals massive explode damage, plus 30% to special move, awakened, and ultimate damage inflicted by allies for 20% for 20 timer counts upon activation. So using his blue card buffs, all allies blue cards and ultimate arts. And yeah, they're awakened arts too, which is really good. His gigantic blades inflicts all enemies with attribute with three substitution counts upon activation and inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% to damage received for 15 timer counts on hit. And it combos into his strike, blast, blue card, and ultimate arts. Negative karma power ball, which is his ultimate, deals massive explode damage plus 50% to ultimate damage inflicted for 30 t for three timer counts upon activation. A portion of the damage inflicted will also be dealt to the enemy members on standby on hit. This cannot cause them to be defeated. So basically, the more damage this move does, the more damage the enemies on the bat the battlefield and when they're not being used, they'll still take damage, which is actually ridiculous. If it could kill, then this would be the most this would definitely be the most broken ultimate in the game. So his main ability draws the ultimate arts negative karma powerball next, restores own keep by 30 and plus 30 percent to damage inflicted for 20 time accounts. And it takes 25 for that. Tag GT strike attack at two stars. He gets regeneration the more stars you get up. The Apex Shadow Dragon increases own Dragon Balls by one when battle starts. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 30% to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Reduces damage to you by 20% for 15 time accounts. And 10% to damage inflicted per Dragon Ball you possess. Effects reset when character switch. So the more Dragon Balls Omega has, the more damage he'll be doing, which is ridiculous. And applies the following effects to enemy when this character lands a strike or blast hit. 20% to inflict strong poison. 20% chance to inflict heavy bleed. 10% chance to inflict paralysis. The following effects occur if tag GT other than this character is a battle member. Plus 15% to inflict strong poison upon landing a striker blast. And 15% chance to inflict heavy bleed upon landing a striker blast. The following effects also occur if tag shadow dragon other than this battle member is a battle member so 20% chance to inflict paralyze upon landing a strike or blast hit that's actually really dumb the more strikes and blasts he uses he has a chance to paralyze poison and bleed the opponent and with gt and shadow dragon members it goes up even higher so omega is ridiculous he's actually going to be really annoying so i'm going to be running him on this regen team all right so let's hop into pvp also, I'm going to be running Omega with easy clips. This one gives strike defense and a bunch of strike attack. This one gives blast defense, strike defense, and then just 4.9 increases to strike attack per regeneration battle. And then this one, which is defenses and blast attack. So, yeah, now we'll hop into PvP. So, our first battle is against Fusion Warriors. Uh, this could be really difficult. Since we don't really have a blue unit, it's kind of just ready units, so Rising Rush is definitely going to be used. Let's start with Sinaeus, after that, I'll get it. I'll then use a Masu, because Kefla is going to be so annoying. The strike attack just does not really too good. So, his name says no Rising Rush, but I guarantee he's going to use it. So... Let's see how well Omega does. We need to get rid of Kefla quickly because her strike attack is just going to ramp up and deal so much damage to everyone on the team. Yes. 
So now we're fighting a god key team. Hmm. He's probably gonna bring Rose, which is really annoying. I'm gonna start out with some monsters I doubt we're gonna be as even if I have you kind of kind of like that. But he could win just the two trip teams. I'll just go with this character. I do want to win this for the Jack Hyde. But right now we're not going to be doing that so let's have a good game and let's see what omega can do
Goku with that blue card is just gonna be oh my god. So I have to bring Zenkaibu to at least whittle them down. And besides, he can tank a lot more things. Don't go home, you don't want to go. 
Future team, so this could be really difficult. He's gonna be trunks, I know that. I don't think he'll start with Vegito, bro. Wow, this, this is really difficult. This is the team we're running in. Omega could take out the heroes. The monster will go. That will take out his Masu because I know he'll bring that. I'm at such a disadvantage because I don't really have a really good, I don't have a good regen blue. I don't have super blue. Why didn't you dodge? The final match of the video, we're fighting a Mono Saiyans team. Bardock is obviously going to be brought. SS4 probably just going to go in the first three. Pretty sure of it. Bardock is going to be the one that 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 is going to be the one
Real quick, so this is the final match, and this is a little strange Saiyan team ish. I don't know you guys. So, in total, I think it's very underrated. He's actually good, he's really good, actually. One of the best things in the Let's 
スに勝てると思う我が王になる Video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, YouTube.